G'day everyone, it's first thing in the morning, I'm with my dad and we're on the Lower Ovens River in the boat doing a bit of lure fishing for Murray Cod. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Gotta be a hungry fish sitting under all that crap. Right up there in the thick of it. Where he's gonna be. Wondering what that was, then I just looked around at the corner of my eye, so I thought, oh, that was a touch. Yep, that's what I thought it. Can we just motor back up there a bit? Got him! He, I got him, he came back. Oh, I done him! Look at the big boil there. He won't come back now, I don't think. He wasn't a very big fish. I don't think he was a legal fish. Right, here's a lure I haven't used for a while. A Wilson Slickback. A pink and purple one. You can't get these anymore. Be fish on shortly. Look at that. Check it out. Whoops. You alright? I've got him. Oh, I missed him. Did you have a fish there? Yeah, I did. I'm not even joking. Got him. Got him. Not gonna lose this one. Oh yes I am. That's three I've lost. That's three fish I've lost. <laughs> Gotta be joking. The big pink Wilson Slickback, the full size one. Oh look at that corner in there. Log jam. Must be pretty deep here, is it? Is it deep here? Beautiful. I reckon that'd make it nine or ten feet. I reckon it's about three, four feet higher than normal. It's got to be a fish in that corner there, surely. Ah, keep stuff in the cast up. If I can get a decent cast in there, I might have half a chance of catching one. That's better. Can you just motor forward just a little bit? Just want to have another couple of casts at that spot. Got him! Told, told, told you there'd be one in there? Is that a yellow belly? A yellow That's a thumping yellow belly. That's going straight to the esky. <laughs> the old Wilson slickback has struck. Woohoo! Stoked! I'm gonna get you to get a photo of me with that in a minute. That's all right. I'll, I'll get a camera organised. Yeah, uh, folks. Full size Wilson slickback, pink and purple, and he has got a beautiful yellow belly. Now Dad's taken care of the yellow belly because we had a bit of a mishap. I went to grab it for a photo but kicked and dug the, the hook straight through my finger. And uh, washing it in river water probably isn't ideal. That's right. I've said it before on my channel and I'll say it again. 
if you ever do that if you ever get a hook stuck through your finger the worst thing you can do is panic <laughs> and get all stressed out the best thing you can do i crimped the barb and then i just reversed it back through but the trick is you've got to do it quick the longer you wait the more it'll hurt do it quick while the adrenaline's high and you'll have no problem now as soon as i can stop that from fishing from bleeding it'll uh i'll be able to go fishing again let's deal with this yellow belly if i was chasing yellow belly i wouldn't be using this lure you're on good fish yeah. oh i skim so i bite at least the knolls can stay on for a while <laughs> it might be a legal fish trout caught him it it's a hybrid i think we met him a oh, lovely fish beautiful nice fish yeah yeah let's see what we can get in here a hook in your finger like I did. I'll get a photo. There you go, folks. Dad just caught this lovely 59 centimetre Murray cod. Is it a Murray cod or is it a trout cod? Well, it's neither. I reckon it's a hybrid. They have been known to uh, cross breed and hybridise, and I believe that the hybrids like that are sterile and they can't reproduce that's nature's way of protecting the gene pool for both the trout cod and the murray cod but either way dad's got a 59 centimeter cod and he's stoked i saw your rod i wasn't filming but i was looking straight at your rod when you hit that then got you under a snag has he i was looking at your rod when that hit then He might him out front of the snag. He's out. Bit of weight in him. Oh, nice cod. Nice cod, this one. Ah, there you go, the Knoll's native. My favourite lure now. <laughs> <laughs> After bagging it out for the last hour because it's not catching any fish, you've just caught two in a row. I was looking at, I wasn't filming, but I was looking straight at your rod tip when he hit that then. I'm still not holding it up in here, get a second, let's hold it up. Beautiful, lovely Murray cod around about 45 centimetres. Got that. Okay. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> he hooked himself on the way down. All right, we've come miles downstream. Now we're going to trawl back against the current, and I'm going to put Wilson back on. Wilson's my Wilson slick back that caught me the yellow belly earlier. I haven't had a touch since. I kid you not, I've picked one up trolling. Little wood duck just there. Get out of the way, mate. I'm reeling a fish in. Not very big. He tripped me around. He's gone, I think. He's gone. Bugger. <laughs> That's that duck's fault. It wasn't a very big fish. He just hit it, must have come out front of that log there, I reckon. I'm blaming you, wood duck. I'm on, I've got him. I'm not joking. Oh, can you put it in reverse? I've gone on, I don't know whether he's still on or not. I can't feel him kick. It's only a small fish. But it's gone under a snag or something down there. Haven't had a touch for two hours, hooked one there and lost it, and then hooked one here, and by the looks of it, I'm going to lose it too. It's up there. It's still, I can see it. It's a tiny little, that's a tiny little cod, look. That's a Murray cod. Would you look at that? There you go, folks, I'm going for the record here. He's got his, uh, Lip flared out. Tiny little Murray cod with his gills flared out. See you later, mate. There he goes, he's off. 
Our last fish was about 9am, current time is 10 past 11, it's been really quiet. And then I just hooked a fish under that tree down there and lost it. Then hooked one next to this tree and caught it, and you had a strike too, didn't you? Maybe there's a school of baby cod down there. Five past 12, I've been down the water here for about five and a half hours. We've caught four fish, lost a couple. It's been a few, a bit quiet. But we've caught a few and had a lot of fun thanks very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this boat fishing video if you have want to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and hopefully i'll see you in my next video